Hello YouTube, so today I want to talk about uh, the recent games I've played. I've recently played several games that were new. I usually don't pre-order games, but I did for some like Fire Emblem Engage, uh, Pokemon, Scarlet, and Tears of the Kingdom. And I don't remember what else, but <laughs> those are the three like major titles that were popular that I did pre-order and did try out. So, I do want to say that I'm still playing Tears of the Kingdom. I think I put in around 60 hours and I haven't finished it. I cleared around three temples and I've been exploring and doing random quest, side quests and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I have not looked at any guides, so I'm probably missing a lot of things. But it's one of those games that I really don't want to look up a guide on because I feel like it will make it less fun um, you know it's more fun to discover things by yourself and new places by yourself because the whole game is based on like exploring and adventuring on your own so yeah anyways so I've been playing that and I've been enjoying it a lot I think it's gonna be my game of the year but I'm not sure yet because it's, you know it's only halfway through um, but I think it's most I mean Nobody is complaining about the game, right? Some people prefer maybe Breath of the Wild uh, Or maybe they'll say that Elden Ring was better because I don't know people seem to like compare those two But in my opinion, I think Tears of the Kingdom I am enjoying a lot more than uh, Breath of the Wild and I did enjoy Breath of the Wild a lot too, so But I'm not gonna talk about the game in detail. I just want to talk about in general what I've been playing and the thing is, after I played Tears of the Kingdom, I kind of realized that <clears throat> games I've dropped, for example, Shin Megami Tensei 5 that I got a little a while back that I did make a video on, like Fire Emblem Gengage, I've only played like 5 hours or so, and I didn't pick it back up. Um, I did finish Pokemon Violet, but I didn't start Scarlet, uh, because I'm too lazy. Um, I've been playing every now and then P Pokemon Pikachu Let's Go that I got recently and I did <clears throat> sorry I'm kind of sick still so <clears throat> I might sound a little weird um, I did drop Pokemon um, um, Brilliant Diamond that I got a while back too and I haven't started some games that I got but those are not important but after playing Zelda it made me realize that games that I start playing and then drop I thought that this was because like I don't care about video games as much as before. Um, of course, I have less time than before because of my job and responsibilities as an adult. Um, also, because I've been working out more, doing more exercise, so it takes around around like two hours every day for me to um, exercise. So the only day I don't exercise is on Saturday, and other days I do at least one hour and a half of. Um, working out at home and two days of the week other than working out, out at home I do cardio for like an hour and a half two hours so that's a lot of time if you add that up during the week and that time is not you know it's another time that I can't spend on playing games so I have less time in general that uh, that I can all all allocate yeah allocate to play games and I think I'm not complaining, it's just that that's the way it is, you know. I choose my life to be that way. <laughs> like, I don't feel as comfortable as I used to just sitting around and playing video games. Not that it's wrong, right? I mean, it's still a hobby, um, it's a lot of fun. But I feel like, in my case, there are other things that I need to do or should be doing that will make my life better <laughs> if that I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly I'm not trying to say that gaming is bad and you shouldn't be gaming that much or I mean it doesn't really matter if you game all day or if you only game half an hour a day 20 minutes a day as long as you enjoy it and it's not affecting other parts of your life then that's fine I don't care it's just that for me it's been more important to do other stuff that being said, after I started playing Zelda, I can't put it down. <laughs> I've been like playing, even when I have to work, I will pick it up and play for like 10-15 minutes when I have free time. 
Um, even go before going to bed, I would pick up the Switch and play for half an hour or so before I fall asleep. So it's one of those rare games that I can't put down anymore. Um, it's very exciting, you know. And this made me realize, I keep saying, this made me realize that other games that I just can't get into, I think it's the fact that I have less time and also because they're not good. <laughs> they're not as good as I want them to be. So, and also, since I have less time, I can't like wait 10 hours, 20 hours to see if I'm actually gonna like it or waste, you know, 30 hours to finish it and then decide, well, that wasn't that good, like I used to be able to before. So, I haven't been able to game that much as before, but the lack of time and, you know, doing other stuff in my life, I feel like it's actually better that way because I'm now not wasting <laughs> time just to figure out if a game is good. Because now I have a high standard <laughs> of a game that I'm gonna, I knew that I'm gonna enjoy. And it's kind of weird coming from someone that enjoyed Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, but that game was, <sighs> how do you call it? It doesn't run well, it looks horrible, but the game itself was actually, I think, good. So it's a little weird <laughs> because if you've never played Pokemon, you'll probably say like, this game looks horrible and I'm not going to play it, which is what my husband did. He played it for like an hour and he said, I'm not going to play this. This is, this is trash. <laughs> and that's okay because I kind of realized that that game isn't very well made. Um, but if you're a fan of Pokemon and if you play the other games, and it has lots of new things that you wouldn't notice if you never played one before. So, I feel like playing game like Zelda, which is so much fun, it runs smoothly, well sometimes it stutters, but you know, acceptable, especially coming from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> um, uh, lots of new things compared to Breath of the Wild, lots of improvements, you know, it's an... and... I think more than double the amount of um, map area because you have the underground, you have the sky, and you have the regular land. Lots of side quests, lots of things to do. And it's not all annoying and all the, most of them are like, you know, um, optional, but you still want to do them because it's so much fun. Uh, the combat is fun and the other day I was uh, fighting against some of the stronger enemies and I got so good at... Um, the rush attack, the sidestep, and you know, the evading of the attacks. Uh, I learned how to do it there. I spent the whole day trying to defeat them, and you know, I got so good that I feel like now I can beat almost anything. <laughs> so, yeah, like it's been a while since I felt this fun, this much fun playing a game, and feel so much accomplishment playing a game because, for example, with Pokemon. It was a lot of fun, but because of the story, I didn't really care about, you know, being strong because uh, the NPCs are not strong. I just wanted to know what happens in the story and I was happy with that. Um, also seeing new Pokemons and stuff, it was a lot of fun. But in Zelda, it's more like, you know, you can get good, you can find new things and you want to see more. And I do care about the story more than Breath of the Wild, but I feel like that's not the most important part of the game myself. So, yeah, I feel like it sent, set a new standard for my games that I'm going to be playing going forward. And I think it's good, but at the same time, that's not good because Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are one of the best games out there, you know, like, as a whole, in general. So, of course, I'm not going to say, oh, if it's not good as that one, I'm not going to play it, no. But, I'll of course give them a chance when I see a game that I'm interested in, but if I see that it's not as good or if, but if I see that, you know, nothing is happening and it's kind of boring, I think I might have to drop it sooner than I used to before. Like for example, with Shin Megami Tensei 5, I gave it around 8 hours or so, 6, 8 hours, 8 hours. But I, after playing Zelda, if I would if I were to play it now, and if I hadn't played it before, I would probably drop it in 5 hours, you know? So yeah, like, I'm really enjoying it, but now I'm afraid that I won't be able to enjoy other games as much anymore, but I'm not sure. Of course, 
Depends on the type of the game. But, uh, and not all games are made like that. So I understand that, you know, you can't expect everything to be perfect. But I feel like... But I feel like it's one of those games that set a new standard, like Elden Ring did. It's kind of similar, but I prefer Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild because of the more fantasy-esque, you know, more cartoonish style. Less serious because Elden Ring is very scary looking. <laughs> the world is more scary and they don't have cute animals and stuff. So yeah, I prefer Zelda. Um, but anyways, that's what I've been thinking about new games and that's probably gonna, and it's probably going to be like this going forward. So yeah, let's hope that more cool games, well-made games come out and I do hope to enjoy those games a lot more now than before because it also makes me want to try out new games that I hadn't given a chance before just because it's not my favorite genre or things that I usually don't play. So if a game is actually really good or if it has good reviews, I might just try them out even if, you know, they're not my type of game because that's what I did with Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom, and I enjoyed both of them, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, have you played any really, really good games like I feel with Zelda recently? Let me know in the comments so I can maybe check them out later. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!